Hey guys, welcome back. It's episode four of the Arsenal career mode on FC24 and we've got Manchester United up next. They are sitting in fourth place. They're in the top four early on in the season. Of course, we lost to Fulham in the last episode, which means it's a must win. We've got to beat them at the Emirates. Really quickly though, I got an email. This is really cool. So when I'm looking for staff or coaches, you're able to specify what you're looking for and it will then email you when someone becomes available. So I got an email, morning boss. I just wanted to let you know that a suitable candidate has become available. This is really, really nice. We've got quite a few actually, wow. Lots of um, Gagan Press tactical vision experts. So let me just back out a second. Although actually, let's see, can I do it from there? So if I go into coach market, I can't see it only lets me hire there. So I still have to go all the way back out, team strategy, and then I can go into coach management. So right now, as you guys know, I'm not I'm not doing it too quickly. I don't want to just completely destroy the coaching system with all the five star coaches in the world and have 90 rated players by month three. So I'm taking it relatively slowly. We've got enough for the goalkeeping department. Maybe we should get a little bit for my midfield. We need 22 stars. We've got 10, 22 stars. We've got nine in defense. Ooh, that's tricky. The thing is, one player that I really do want to improve quite quickly um, is Declan Rice as a central midfielder. So I don't just play him as a DM and he can still gain as many stats as possible in that central midfield position. So I think it probably is a good idea to hire one more midfield coach and we'll toggle by midfield. And there you go. Miguel Correa, four star midfield skills, um, a weekly salary of just 1,700 as well. Let's go ahead and put him in. So that means we're up to 14 stars and we will come back and do this again because I'm, I'm in no major rush. That's totally fine by me. And um, don't hire, co no, sorry, don't sack coaches. If you're going to hire a coach, make sure it's a really good one that you want to keep. Because at the moment in the game, at least on PC, which is what I'm playing on, if you fire a coach, the game crashes and they haven't updated the game or anything like that. So who knows? Um, another thing I really want to mention quickly is another player that I'm targeting at some point, Evan Ferguson. He's going to be a very expensive signing in real life. He won't be that expensive in the game. Um, I've heard that Brighton are going to want well over 100 million for him, which is... But uh, he has been... Uh, it's been in the news that Arsenal are admirers of his. So we will need a striker at some point, and he is added to the list. Very excited about that. So... We're going to get into the game against Manchester United right now. And we're going to do training because it's such a big one. They are wing play. Okay, let's go into the pre-match report. Onana in goal. Not had a great start, has he? Hoyland's up there. Bruno Fernandes, Anthony, Rashford. What is that bench? Casemiro's not even starting. Wow. Although this is the probable lineup, so they still could. And they've won their last three games, as you can see in the bottom right there. Uh, the key attacking player is Bruno Fernandes. And the wing play, tactical vision is interesting. We're going to go ahead and jump into the press conference here. Are your boys ready for the game? We're in excellent shape. Despite losing to Fulham, shh, no one needs to know. Next question, how can your team find consistency? It's the same questions every time. Um, it's about confidence. Looks like we're going to get that team morale up to very happy. So are you happy with your squad? We've got what we need for now. Looking at the training sessions we can do, I'm looking at the counter-attacking scenarios one. This is going to give Saliba and Gabriel the block temporary play style. And then Erdegaard, Jesus and Saka will get the power shot one. Yes, I'm doing that. And I won't bore you making you watch it. Maybe I'll show you some highlights if I do something good. Well, that was nice. Tell you what, though, it's not easy. Sometimes... Look at that. What What am I meant to do? <laughs> okay, well, I've got the maximum points, so it doesn't actually matter. But the training isn't always that easy. That's going to be a foul, isn't it? Oh, well, at least it's done. But we've earned the temporary play styles, and now we're going to get into the game against United with... Well, it's an advantage. It just is, and I, I still don't know how I feel about this. And here we go. It does seem like Casemiro is on the bench, and I cannot believe that. 
How? How is Van der Beek getting in ahead of Casemiro? That's mental. Here's Rashford. What is that? Did he... Uh... Okay, then. Great start. <laughs> yeah, the CPU could be pretty dumb. Here is Martin Erdegaard. Signed a new deal for Arsenal in real life. Woke up to that news this morning. Fantastic. Here's Declan Rice. I'm going to have a shot. Oh, out to Ben White. Dinking it into the box. We've still got possession here. United struggling. Zinchenko. Erdegaard. Rice. Oh, have we still got it? No. Martinelli down the left wing. Is he going to get that? He is. And we've got Jesus dropping deeper. Finish it. Come on. Oh, good save, Onana. Don't get to say that very often. <laughs> right, corner coming in from Martinelli. Oh, it's good. Oh, it was almost perfect. Very close to being 1-0. Good tackle from Declan Rice. Hoyland is not having a very good time at the moment. He's lost it pretty much every single time he's got the ball. Here's Erdegaard. In for Saka. Over the top for Jesus. I shouldn't have done that. But I've won the header. Back inside. Jesus again. Oh, he slams it home. It's 1-0 at the Emirates. And Manchester United's miserable form at this stadium. Looks like it's continuing. That is one of the best goals I've scored so far. Just absolutely leathered it. I don't know how he won that header. That's embarrassing from Dallow. Oh, and Onana maybe could have got a hand to it. Oh, it seems a bit harsh saying that, but Jesus scores again. 31 minutes in, 1-0 up, and we deserve it, by the way. We've been the much better side. And they've just equalised out of nowhere. And it's Hoyland. I was just saying how bad he's been. It's Rashford down the left side. He just finds a bit of space. I didn't switch in time. Good finish, to be fair. That's the thing. If you give space to any player of any quality from a team like Manchester United, they will punish you. And that really feels like it's against the run of play. So it is what it is. We go again. In fact, we might get an opportunity to get forward here. Beautiful. Oh, I, I, okay, I'm going to shoot. Ooh. Did it, did it get saved? No. Okay, well, the chances will come. Oh, lovely. Martinelli. Oh, and Onana makes another save. Could have easily been 2-1 there. We're going into, what is it, two minutes of added time now. Can we get something going before the break? Doesn't look like we're going to get an opportunity. If anything, United are. Here's Hoyland again. He's gone a bit wide. I think the referee could probably blow his whistle here. What's he doing? Thank you. Uh, do I want to make any changes? I'm feeling like Havertz could make a big difference here. I think I might do it, guys. I might put Havertz in and take Partey out. I feel kind of bad about it, but I'd rather have Rice in that DM role. And I'm going to put Havertz in. Let's give it a go. See if he can make a difference. It's just having someone that, you know, he's like six foot four. He's a big player, physical player, and um, has just a bit more quality in and around the box than Rice does in that area. Why did I just pass that to Gabriel? That was stupid of me, but we've recovered. Here is Havertz now. He's got so much space. They just don't close you down. Look at the CPU. Honestly, sometimes it's fine, and then sometimes it is terrible. Right now, I've got to focus, though. It's not looking good, this. Oh, and I've dived in. Please don't concede. No, no, no. Oh, my God. It's so difficult to stop that from happening sometimes. And it's Hoyland again scoring for United. Oh, see, I made the tackle with Saliba, but it just wasn't good enough. Okay, we need to make more changes. We're half an hour away from the end of the game. I've got to make changes now. I'm going to go ahead and throw Timber in for White. I'm going to go Trossard for Martinelli. And you know what? I'm quite tempted to put in Vieira, but... I've got Havertz and Erdegaard, so I can't really. We'll just stick with that. But this is where I would love to bring on someone like an Evan Ferguson. Six foot two, bruiser up top. Oh, come on! Martin Erdegaard, what a man. What a legend already. Captain leader legend? It's a bit much, maybe. That is a stunning goal, though. Is that the thumbnail? Is that the thumbnail right there? <laughs> really, really good to see Odegaard get another goal. 
loads of space for timber didn't close me down really today and then the shot is just perfection oh my god hoyland's actually incredible wow really impressive oh <laughs> and then he's ran the ball out of play we've got the ball wide here with trossard in for jesus over for saka turns on his right foot oh that was the winning goal right there there is still time though i might be able to win this okay never mind come on matt bit of focus we can do this oh no martial's pace what is that what is that? <laughs> uh, guys, we're about to lose two in a row here. First Fulham and now... Oh my God, is that Eric Ten Hag? Oh my God. They've won the World Cup, guys. They're winning at the Emirates. Not for long. I'm about to go up and equalise. Watch this. Timber. Inside to Havertz. Going to drive forward a little bit. That's a foul. How is that not a foul, ref? Are you blind? What is wrong with you? No. That didn't just happen. He didn't get the ball whatsoever. He completely took me out and they're going to score again. Oh, I cannot believe we've lost again. I can't believe this. And I'm meant to win the title. Oh, God. This is not good. Okay, so we've got the scout report back on Ferguson. 74 rated, is that all? No way, he should be higher than that. Well, of course, we would get him higher than that, but that kind of sucks. I thought he'd be a lot higher rated than that. He's an exciting prospect. Of course, he's going to have a very good potential. He looks like he could be a very good player. But truth be told, he's he's not even ahead of Nketiah right now. So, um We'll keep an eye out. Obviously, we're not going to be signing a striker this season. It might not even be next season. Who knows? But Ferguson is on the list. Let's go ahead and repair things, guys. We need three points against Everton. We're going to Goodison Park. We recently got our first win there in seven years in real life. So I need to match that this time. No training. Let's have a look at their team really quick, though. Um... Yeah, we should be winning this. They're not even going to be starting Onana. Really? Okay, that's fine. Oh, what a ball. Oh, my God. What a ball. It's offside. No! Ben White just put in one of the most beautiful crosses. But it's not going to count. How close was it? Oh... Oh, dear. This is really cool, by the way. Very unfortunate, because that is... I mean, it's literally the perfect start to the game, but we're in again here. Saka's back post. Oh, surely. Oh, yes. This time, it is absolutely onside, and we've got the 1-0 lead very early on in this game. Oh, look at Saka again. Look at the space. It's gorgeous. And now, inside to Jesus. Oh, well done, Gabriel. He's very good at that. He steps forward and wins it. Here's Declan Rice now. Over to Havertz. You've got the start today. Gets the shot away. It's blocked by Garner. Can you get the tackle in? Nope. Everton look ropey, though. They really do. Half an hour in, and we are still pretty much the only team playing football right now. Everton not really doing anything. Here goes Saka. Over on the right to Ben Wright. Ben White. Ben Wright. On the right to Ben Wright. Here's Erdegaard. Martinelli. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it's a penalty. <laughs> That is not a penalty. No, absolutely no way that's a foul. Let's have a look at this again. He's got the ball so cleanly. That is unreal. But I will gladly take it and Saka can step up and take another penalty for Arsenal Football Club. Let's go over on the left side here against Pickford. Oh, too good. He's just too good. What the hell just happened there? Sorry. Can we just get a little um, instant replay on that? <laughs> I'm not really sure what Saka did. So it's, it's coming to him towards his chest. And he's just... Oh my god. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. How the hell has Ashley Young got so much height there? Woo! <laughs> that is... Wow. Okay, focus. Because... I want a clean sheet. I don't want to concede against Everton. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that was close. Into injury time now. 
Saka's on a hat trick, by the way. Again, he is comfortably our best player. Oh, and Jesus. Did he just Rabona that? I think he might have done a Rabona. Oh, we don't get to see. Doesn't matter. It didn't go in. Corner comes in. Oh, out to Saka. Surely not. Surely not. On his right foot. What do we reckon? Go on. Oh, he will get a hat trick soon. He still has a second half to come. It is coming. Oh, go on, Havertz, over the top. Yes. Odegaard's going to get that. Yes. Come on, son. Let's go. Keep going. Oh, I was aiming for Saka. He's got it now. Oh, come on, game. So, so nearly the hat trick, but I'm going to make some changes now. I'm actually going to put Havertz up top. I haven't used him as a striker yet. I want to see what it's like. And instead of Jesus, we're going to bring in Vieira. Um, oh, I feel bad about Nketiah. Well, it is what it is. Timber's going to come on at right back. And I'm also going to put in Jorginho. I haven't used him much yet. So Declan Rice can have a bit of a rest here with half an hour to go. I hate this. Zinchenko stepping up, giving space for Danjuma. I don't think I can have him stepping up anymore. I don't think I can do it. There's the clean sheet, gone. The problem is I've got Zinchenko playing inverted and stepping up. I showed you in the last episode. It works when I've got the ball, but when I lose it and get countered, I get destroyed every single time. It's fine. We're about to get a hat-trick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and there it is. Round of applause for Starboy Saka. It's a hat-trick. And we're definitely getting the win. It's fine. I don't need to stress about that goal that we just conceded anymore. And that is such a cheeky finish as well. Game over. I don't get it. Why? Why aren't my defenders marking tightly? Oh, whatever. Don't concede another one. I swear. If I concede another one, I'm going to be fuming. Just focus, Matt. I don't know what to say. Zinchenko, look how far away he is. There's nothing I can do. I'm not controlling them. The ball just goes over the top and he, he's in between two players with about a mile either side. And just like that, it's three all. I'm in trouble, guys. I'm in serious trouble. I will get sacked. I have to win the league. Or at least get second place, right? At this rate, it's just it's not going to happen. Unless, <laughs> of course, oh, Havertz, unable to score from there. Oh dear. Okay, we're going short. Give it to Saka. Edge of the box. Fabio Vieira now. Okay, that's fine. Still got it. Timber. Can't really give it to anyone. Here we go. Martinelli, you're kidding me. Pickford, what is that? How? How? Corner coming in. Oh, Saliba. Pickford again. I'm actually going to chop his little arms off. How is he doing this? How am I not winning? I've gone short again. Oh, you're kidding me. And I've lost it so easily. We're running out of time. I need to get a tackle in. Yes, and there it is. Oh, please. No, nope, the ball was bad. I cannot lose two in a row and then get a draw against Everton. I can't. I have to find a winning goal, and I need it now. We've got four minutes added on, guys. This is it. This is such a huge moment. I'm going to start falling behind otherwise. I already am. Oh, no. Oh my god, I've lost three in a row. I just don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. What a goal. It's not the only time that Gray, who shouldn't even be there, by the way, he's left them. But he scored a winner against Arsenal not too long ago. 
I cannot believe this, guys. I genuinely cannot believe it. I hate Goodison Park. We have made it three losses in a row. What do I do, guys? I, I just, I don't know. We're going into our first Champions League game now. It is Sevilla. They've got some very, very good players in there. You will recognize their striker, Enyesri, and en Nasiri, however you want to say his name, was actually a beast in my Arsenal career mode. Um, and he is one of their key attacking players. Sevilla don't even want to be in the Champions League. Let's be honest. They would rather be in the Europa League because they'll win it. Um, oh, dare I do the press conference. I have to do the tutorial thing again? How many times do I have to do that? Right, the team morale is content. We know what we have to do. Okay, happy. Why is there a hole in my shirt? I'm just trying to show off my uh, my chest hair. <laughs> um, I mean, we need to win a game. It doesn't matter which game at this point. Just win one. Just get a win. Focus on the performance. We've gone from content to very happy. But what do I do with the team? Do I change things up? I think Enketia starts... I think we put in, oh, it's the Champions League and I feel like I should give some other players some game time. I'm going to go Enketia, Timber, uh, Partey and Rice. Should I swap them? Partey and, no, I don't want him there. I'm going Smithrow. Do you know what? I'm resting Erdegaard. Smithrow there and Vieira there. And then I'm going to rest Saliba and put Ben White in at centre-back. Saka is in form. He... Oh, his skill moves have gone up to five already. Oh, my God. That took, what, two weeks? I only wanted it to go up to four. But we will take off the training for him. I'm going to start Trossard as well. And Nelson can be on the bench. Because it's the Champions League. I should absolutely give other players a turn in the team. And that, of course, means Raya as well. It is so good to be in the Champions League, guys. It really is. Five minutes in, though, they've got a free kick. Whoa! Rakitic. Are you okay? <laughs> what was that? Well, that's not good. That's a goal for sure. Yeah. We're 1-0 down. I'm conceding too many goals. I think I'm now realising how the CPU feels in this game. They're very good on the attack. And they suck in defence. They don't close you down. But on the attack, they're very difficult to slow down and attempt to tackle and block. And mm, Yeah. It's early days. I'm still getting used to the game. Smith Rowe here. He's got it back again. Into Saka. Over to Nketiah. Big chance for Nketiah. He's got it. It's one all. Our first Champions League goal in seven years. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Well done, Nketia. Oh, that's an insane pass. Got to get back now. Missed the tackle. Saw the block, though. And then I just give away the ball. I just need a second. What is this? Oh, my God. Just gifting a goal. Oh, my Lord. Okay, beautiful. Okay. You see what I mean? Concede, yeah. Score, yeah. It's just easy. It's actually the same goal every time. Hey, look, guys, at least it's Suso and it's not Agnesri. I <laughs> My players walked into each other. Look at that. That's not me. Stop doing that celebration. I will literally uninstall the game. <laughs> oh, my God. Just look at Gabriel. Where's he going? Where are you going? Oh, oh my God. We're focusing on the league, boys. All right. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I can get on the attack. Yeah, look. Oh, brilliant. <sighs> Two more of those and it'll be a 10 goal thriller. Okay. Okay. 
What? Who did this come off? Oh my god. What is this? I can't keep up with him. They're just so quick. All right, Saka to bring it forward. We've got Nketiah on a hat trick, remember? Maybe it's his turn. Oh, Saka's in. What are the defense doing? This isn't right. Oh my God, please. Um, and Ketty's got a hat trick. Come on, Saka. Bottom left corner. Oh, it's six all. This might be the most ridiculous game I've had on FIFA or FC ever. <laughs> Just don't let the cross come in. No, 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 no,